Hello my dear friends, very warm welcome you all to my YouTube channel English Zone. Friends, today's topic is very important for your exam prospects. That's why I made a very particular video on this topic. The topic which I am going to discuss is related to fathers of literary genre and their works. Some very important questions related to this is also asked in your exams. That's why I made this video for you all. Friends, please watch this video till the end because you will get some very important questions related to the founders and fathers of literary genre. So let's start the video. Fathers of a literary genre and their works of English literature. Friends, here is the list of fathers of literary genre and their works. The very first is father of English history. That is St. Bede. His life duration is from 672 or 3 to 735. His most important literary works are Ecclesiastical History of English People. Friends, this is very important and famous work of St. Bede. The Ecclesiastical History of English People. Uh, in this book, he has given some geographical background of England and there is also related to Catholic Church of Romans. Some glimpse of old England you will found in this book and this book has given him the title of the father of English history. Next is father of English literature, poetry, language and short story. That is Geoffrey Chaucer from 1343 to 1400. This is the time duration of Geoffrey Chaucer. His most important literary works are the Canterbury Tales, the Book of the Duchess, and the House of the House of Fame. These are his important literary works. Next is the father of English drama, William Shakespeare from 1564 to 1616. This is the time duration of William Shakespeare. We all are very much familiar with William Shakespeare. He has written four important plays of English literature that is Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth, King Lear. Next is Father of English Criticism that is John Dryden from 1631 to 1700. This is the time duration of John Dryden. His most important literary works are Absolom and Aketophel, Mac Flecon, Essays, of dramatic poesy. This is his important literary works. This and essay of dramatic poesy. This is his uh, critical work. Uh, friends, John Dryden was regarded as a father of English criticism by Dr. Samuel Johnson. Samuel Johnson given him the title of English father of English criticism because he has given some kinds of uh, works. He was the first. John Dryden was the first to teach the English people to determine the merit of composition upon principles. Means he has given what the merit of composition upon principle means what should be the literary works or a literary creation should be. He has told this. That's why Samuel Johnson has regarded him as the father of English criticism. Next is father of English novel that is Henry Fielding from 1707 to 1757. This is the time duration of Henry Fielding and his most important works are A History of Tom Jones, A Foundling. This is the title of the novel. Joseph Andrews. Next is father of English stream of conscious novel that is James Joyce. From 1882 to 1941, this is the time duration of James Joyce. Friends, you must have to think about the question. What is the question? If your question is, father, who is the father of English? English, English is the word. If this is in your question, father of English stream of conscious drama, then you will answer as a James Joyce. If the question is related to who introduced stream of consciousness then 
you will answer william james because william james has first time used a stream of consciousness in american novel that's why he was regarded who as the inventor of stream of consciousness but here is the question the father of english stream of consciousness novel and we will give the answer james joyce and his most important works are dubliners a portrait of the artist as a young man and ulysses this is his most important famous novel ulysses friends you must have to know what is stream of consciousness that is a literary style in which characters thought feelings and reactions are depicted depicted or are uh, explained in a continuous flow uninterrupted by objective or conventional dialogue uh, means his thoughts feelings are is continuing flowing and that is not disturbed by any kind of description or conventional dialogue that is called the stream of consciousness friends one more time i want to tell you all that if the question is who invented a stream of consciousness then you will answer G william james in his book principle of psychology written in 1890 he has used the term stream of consciousness but if the question is asked who is the father of english stream of consciousness then you will answer james joyce okay so next question is friend question number 7 father of english tragedy that is christopher marlowe he was born in 1564 and died in 1593 his most important works are literary works of tamberlane dr fastus jew of malta these are his most important famous works of christopher marlowe christopher marlowe was one of the university wits writers and uh, he was also well known or famous for his uh, blank verse which is known as the mighty lines of christopher marlowe next is father of one act play father of english one act play is samuel johnson his life time is from 1709 to 1784 this is a time duration of samuel johnson his most impo- important works are a dictionary of the english language leaves of the poet friends what is one act play one act plays has only one act and it has many scenes and also there are few character in it and they in a very concise time or in a very short time this play ends so one act play has a one act and it may might have a many scenes next is father of english romanticism that is Samuel Taylor Coleridge born in 1772 and died in 1834 and William Wordsworth both are considered as the father of English romanticism their most important works are lyrical ballads he wrote it collaboration in a collaboration uh, actually uh, Samuel John Taylor S T Coleridge has also written few poems in this and uh, wordsworth has the, this was published in 1798 this is the collaboration of both poets next is father of english essay that is francis bacon born in 1561 and died in 1626 his most important works are new atlantis the advancement of learning these are his most important works of Francis Bacon who is known as the father of English essay number 12 is father of English mystery plays that is Edgar Allan Poe born in 1809 and died in 1849 his most important works are Eureka a prose poem 
a dream within a dream these are the most important works of edgar allan poe friends mystery plays are focused on the stories related to the bibles number 13 is father of epic poetry that is homer his most important work are iliad and odyssey these are his most important works next is founder of psychoanalysis that is sigmund freud his most important works are three essays on the theory of sexuality these are this is his most important work friend sigmund freud was a neuro, neurologist and he founded this therapy psychoanalysis this was he used this therapy uh, for his treat for the treatment of the patients that's why he is called the father of psychoanalysis theory or the founder of psychoanalysis theory and on that he has written and um, three essays on the therapy of theory of sexuality friend next is father of essays and says montaigne and his most important literary works are essays of montaigne and uh, father of if a question is asked related to father of english essay then we will answer francis bacon next is father of historical novel that is sir walter scott his most important literary works are beverly and even ho Number seventeen is Father of Revenge Tragedy. And says Thomas Kate. His most important literary works are Spanish Tragedy, Arden of Feversham. Number eighteen is Father of Second English Poets, Edmund Spenser. And his literary works are The Fairy Queen, Prothelmion, and Amorethi. next is prince of english essays and says charles lamb literary works are essays of elia tales from shakespeare and this is the question is who is the prince of english essays who is called as the prince of english essays then the answer is charles lamb number 20 is the founder of night school of poetry that is christopher marlow and his most important works are tamburlain tragical history of dr fastus next is critics of critic is called william hazlitt his most important work are table talk the spirit of the age friends this was all we had today's video and please note down all these important founders and fathers of literary genres related questions in your notes uh, so that it can be helpful for your exam prospect and uh, also i will in next my video you will get a, get the second part of few more important founders and fathers of literary genre till then keep watching in your zone and if you like the video please press the like button and also if you are visiting first time to my channel do not forget to subscribe this thank you very much for supporting englet zone and for watching englet zone thank you very much